Hey there, internets. I'm Michael, and this is Two Can Play That Game, bringing you another edition of Game Night in Review. And last night at Game Night, the game that I played was Black Fleet. And I'll talk more on that later on. Um, first, just a few caveats about what Game Night in Review actually is. So this is just my thoughts and opinions on the games that I played at Game Night. It's in no way a full review with a full playthrough at lots of different numbers of players. It's potentially just I've played it once and it's my initial thoughts. As well as that, what I've also started doing is covering what other people are playing at Game Night and my thoughts on that, just so you can get an idea of what someone else is playing somewhere else in the world. So you're getting more of an idea of what games are popular and in. So with that out of the way, I'm gonna start by talking about those other games played. So there were quite a lot of games actually taken along to pick from, but the ones that were chosen in the end, we had some people playing Zularetto um, I don't know a huge amount about Zularetto. Um, I know it's set around a zoo and probably therefore involves animals, which is good. I, I like zoos, I like animals. It's definitely a game I want to try. I have tried Coloretto. I found that a bit simple for my tastes. Um, I've been told that Zularetto is slightly more complex, so hopefully it will take that nice kind of set collection aspect of Coloretto and be a better game with it. But uh, the people playing that were having fun. It is a bit of a light filler and uh, it's one that I wanna try. The next game is also one I want to try and that is Castles of Burgundy. Now this is a quite heavyweight, dry Euro game, um, which I do like to play occasionally. And it's just unfortunately because of that dry, steep learning curve. It's not one I've gone out of my way to just try with my wife. Um, it's one that I would like to have the opportunity to actually play at a game night with someone else teaching me the rules. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a hugely popular game. It's meant to be really good. And I, I look forward to one day giving it a go. The next game was Ashes, there was a group play, well I say a group, there was a pair playing Ashes because it is a two player only game. Now, this was a game that came out in 2015 and it was a game I was really anticipating from Plaid Hat Games. Like the first time I heard about it and saw the artwork, I was like, oh, this is amazing, I wanna try this. And I did try it last year, where as soon as it came out in games cafes, I went and I played it. And I was really, really disappointed. It was like one of the most disappointed I've ever been in a game. And it's not that the gameplay was bad necessarily, but there was so much text to read. And it was hard to remember what everything was. So you're having to reread it constantly throughout the whole game. So I think realistically, it's a game that isn't one to just pick up and play occasionally. Now, I know they're going for that whole CCG collectible card game kind of market, and I can definitely see it appealing to that market, especially with deck construction aspects. But what me and my wife did is we went into the cafe, we picked two preset decks and we played, and they're decks weren't balanced. And it feels like, why have preset decks that if one person plays one and one person plays the other, you're going to lose or win respectively. And that's what this was. And that really put me off. So despite having to struggle with trying to remember all, all these different cards were doing and how they were all working and reading my cards, reading my wife's cards, reading the cards in my hand, I was then just destroyed because no matter what I did, I just couldn't keep up. I couldn't compete with this other hand of cards. And I spoke to other people and apparently this is by design. And obviously if you do the whole deck construction thing, you can do optimizing and 
kind of anticipating it's one of those games it will appeal to CCG gamers and unfortunately that's not me at this stage in my life. The final game that other people were playing, that I can remember anyway, was Pandemic Legacy. Now I think Pandemic is a great game, I do have that game and I will eventually hopefully be doing videos on it, but Pandemic Legacy I've not jumped in on and it's because of that legacy aspect. Now a lot of people have argued about this saying you know well how many other games are you going to play between 12 and 24 times and my answer to that is hopefully most because why would I get a game that I barely ever play but realistically I, I am aware I do have some that don't get played as much as others but even some of the longer games I mean like I sat down I worked out played like 20 games of Arcadia Quest and I'm still going strong with that and I've just got expansions for that and even you know I still want to play that I, I don't feel like I need to go out and spend another 50 pound for the next game but at the same time it's meant to be so good that I want to try it and yeah so I mean I have worries with the replayability and then there is the stickers and tearing up of cards and oh my god the destruction god so yeah i have i have issues let's just say that issues um with pandemic legacy and it's in no way due to the mechanics or fault of the game it is because of me but i i don't think i'm alone in that so then the main game of this episode is black fleet now I'm not going to talk too much about this game and my thoughts and opinions on it as a whole because coming out around the same time of this will be my review on Black Fleet. So I don't want to give away too much so that you don't watch those. Um, there is also a playthrough and how to play video of course so please do check those out if you are interested in Black Fleet. Um, however just in brief, what Black Fleet is, is it's a game set in the Caribbean whereby you are commander of a group of ships and you are trying to build up enough money to pay the ransom for the governor's daughter. And if you do so, you'll win the game. Now, the way you go about making money is you have a merchant ship that can collect goods from ports and take them to other ports and sell them. You have a pirate ship that can attack merchant ships and earn you money that way. And you will control a navy ship and the navy ships can sink pirates and earn money. Now, the one interesting thing with these navy ships is the other two ships are just yours, but those navy ships, they are communal. So you're kind of going, well, I want it over here. And someone else is going, well, I want it over here. And there's kind of this tug of war almost with regards to those Navy ships, because there's only two of those, especially if you're playing a four player game, you've got four people wanting them in four different places potentially and only two ships. So it creates a really nice, interesting conflict there within the game. That's kind of just a sub factor of the game, but it, obviously I own it and I have done a review, so I do like it. Um, whether or not two can play this, well, you're going to have to check out the review because I talk about that quite a lot in length and uh, the, in summary, yes, but you'll need to watch that to see how. But anyway, so back to last night, uh, as I say, there were four of us playing last night, which is the optimal number of people for Black Fleet, and we, we all had great fun. No one else had played it before, but it's such a simple game to pick up and play that everyone jumped straight into it. When this game was pitched, I didn't really have to pitch it because someone had already said on a previous game night that they were interested in it. So I brought it along and it was like, yeah, I want to play that. And so I went, okay, I'll teach that. Who else wants to play? And straight away, we've got two more people. So, you know, it is an appealing game to people. Um, as we were playing, you know, we had people coming over and Go, like looking over and being like oh what's that what's that because of how attractive it is as well and it was a fun game you know we were joking around about how you know ha, oh, I stab you I stab you type thing 
and we had a section where somehow all four of our merchants were like within one space of each other so we had a merchant party and earlier on in the game we'd had the same with our pirates and we had a pirate party and there's just this lovely dynamic around the table when you're playing this game of a kind of mild friendly banter that works lovely with the game itself and the way the mechanics work it kind of inspires that in people and it is a great fun game and if you're interested in learning more do watch my videos so that was game night last night i hope you found this video interesting if you have please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel and share this with your friends and family and of course subscribe to the channel and also you can check us out on social media we are on facebook and also on twitter and as always Thanks for watching and bye for now.